man, I got to tell you, when we walked in here, Denise, I was just the smell, the smell of the cooking borrego over here. Uh -huh. I have a guy is cooking for us. Uh, it just, it just overwhelmed me. Well, it, this is a nice little place. I've seen it grow from nothing to uh, it's getting nicer and nicer. And Abigail is, well, her dad is from Mexico City. So it's called Taqueria oh, El Chino. Okay. And um, her dad taught her how to do it. So her, her brother, and her husband work the taqueria. And um, her brother's kind of in charge of buying the borrego. And uh, she's in charge in cooking. And her husband's in charge of helping her maintain the restaurant and give the service. So it's a really nice family-oriented little business that's growing. That. And it's authentic, right? So right. if you can see, la salsa de mocajete is uh -huh. beautiful, right? It has its it's listened. really like casera, you know, like home cooking. Mm -hmm. But you can, um, it's nice to have different flavors. This is great. So yeah. these aren't corporate tacos. This is no, no, taco no, no, no. This is we're about as far from corporate tacos as you're gonna get up and gonna Correct. get folks. Authentic, Authentic is what we want to say. Okay. Uh, is how I would describe it. Gotcha. And so you can see that it has a lot of different things, the nopales. And uh -huh. so right now we're gonna eat tacos. Okay. And and then we're gonna have, and it's gonna come with a consomme. Okay. So a little uh, cup of warm broth uh -huh. of where the borrego was cooked. Okay. And you're, so borrego for, for our U.S. audience, you may not know that's sheep, right? Right. Okay. So it's sheep. Uh, it's it's pit roasted. You're telling me, Denise, yes. overnight. Yeah. And they bring it here in the morning. Uh, they put all the spices, the sauces on it, and they cook it as birria. Correct. Slow stewed. So. You have to try that. I love it. Well, look at all the texture in there. Sí. It looks what nice are those and tacos? No, no, nice no, and fatty. Mm. Oh, that's delicious. Uh -huh. The best part about eating these tacos is that you have to dunk it into your consomme or uh -huh. put some consomme into your taco and then take a bite. Okay, we'll, okay. we'll have to try both techniques yes. and see which works best for us. Cheers, everybody. Consomme de Borrego. Uh, this is really, really good. Oh, mm. and then you have to look at this taco. Oh this is the way to go. What? So it has some grilled onions, uh -huh. nopales, la, the salsa from the mocajete. Oh my God. Right? And it's uh, it's dorado. So that means that the tortilla is cooked in a little bit of the fat uh -huh. and it's nice and crunchy. It's got a little so, crispiness to it. Oh yeah, so you I'm, gotta I'm, take a big I wanna bite. Do the, I wanna do the oh. cartoon double take on this. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. What? Yeah, so. Very hot. I wanna let this cool just for a second, second. so I don't burn my mouth. Here we go. Mm. When they cook the whole borrego, mm -hmm. right, there sometimes it has the rib. Okay. And so now she's going to give you the rib, which is oh. you just have to take a bite oh. like this. So it has onions and cilantro, and you have mm -hmm. to take it and just eat it. Here, hold this you know what? trade. We'll sure, trade. that's a good trade. So Ribs are my weakness. I love oh. tostillas in Mexico. Everybody, it's the rib. Rib du jour. And you know, I believe all meat tastes better on the bone. Yes, absolutely. Correct? Well, it's not going to be on the bone for long. It's going to be in my belly in a second. Yes. Mmm. Mmm. Muy rico. Uh, taqueria El Chino, Tecate, small mom and pop, not corporate tacos. These are the real deal. All right, now what are we going to do? Oh, now I think we're almost ready to go to the next spot. I don't know. Just you tell up? me. Yes. I don't know. What do you think, guys? You ready? Let's do it. Excellent. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Gracias. 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 Have a guy.